Okay, so my point is, is when um, the government knows that the divorce rate is um, at higher levels and they have it documented, then they are obligated to create more um, programs and fundings and resources um, to counteract the low numbers. But instead, what they do is they make it more difficult to divorce and then they make it, people don't report it, people don't get divorced, so then it looks like the numbers are higher, and then they basically look like the problem isn't as bad as it is, like it really should, you know, people really should be getting more therapy and marriage counseling, there should really be more marriage therapists, but because it's not documented correctly, and because they fail to um, count the people that are, you know, legally married but don't live together, um, then the numbers are not correct. And therefore, then they can use that money that they were supposed to take for um, heterosexual marriages between men and women and put it into funding more for homosexuals, okay? Because um, they can be like, well, you know, these people, they keep, you know, let's just, you know, forget about them, marriage and them, between the man and the women, and, you know, they already got 50% and da-da-da, and let's just, you know, fight more for the gays because even though we know that most gays are couples and they have good jobs and they live in good neighborhoods and um, hardly ever do you find um, poor gay people because they're always supported, funded, funneled money, um, given favoritism for sexual um, things that they've done. Now I'm not saying all of them do that but a lot of them do. Um, and a lot of times what they do is they'll hire gay people in certain jobs like law enforcement or military or security positions because they know that um, homosexuals they hold a lot of hate in their heart and um, they're more likely to want to um, arrest people and go along with things that aren't um, with the law they're not you know of the Bible and of God fearing they don't fear God because they're homosexual and then they kind of they they have like a hate in their heart for people who aren't gay and then they want to arrest them. They hate Christians because they have so many demons in them, so many bad spirits and dark things that they're around that when you start preaching or saying what they're doing is wrong, then they get really mad and they start um, wanting to attack you, wanting to, you know, get you arrested and get you um, to shut up and like just like I watched this video today a couple of them about how Christians were just you know arrested for preaching the word okay um, and I was like whoa so you're telling me this guy is standing there and like they can advertise signs for um, all kinds of businesses people can stand on the corner waves and say come you know come be by these little Caesar pizzas or they can, um, get, you know, stand at, you know, swap meets or wherever they're selling their little items and try to get you to sell it. I don't know how many times I've had even Girl Scouts, you know, approach me. Can can you buy this or here? This is for a cause. And then, um, but did they try to arrest them? No, they didn't because um, it's okay. It's a part of freedom of speech and freedom to like promote your business and even if it is non-profit and it's for God or something you should have a right to like try to get people a membership and now I guess in um in countries it's illegal to try to get recruit people but all day long all the on tv films magazines books we just hear um nothing but non-christian recruitment to hell but when we try to just stand on a corner and hold out a bible and just repeat what god says in his word his holy word we get in trouble for that now you don't think something like is seriously wrong with that um how could they um arrest a man for holding a bible study so now you can't even um have your friends come over and preach or have a bible study and, and talk about jesus and that's um against the law you have to have a license for that so now what they did was they set it up where the people who aren't you know like that are the false prophets they're the only ones that had enough money and enough resources um, and enough access to the land and to the um, mortgages and the money and the, re um, and the assets to get 
access to the church okay so they got the license they are certified and then they're saying well look you can only go to him if you want to learn about Jesus because only he um, is the one we certified and we say he's okay we know he's not going to bring a soul to Jesus okay we know he's not a real uh, prophet of God we know that so we're going to okay him stab him bam let you go there and when and then as soon as we hear that maybe you might be preaching like a real word or you might be a real prophet or you might know the Bible more than him and point out some of his lies and stuff well that's when they're going to come in and take and confiscate you put you in jail. This guy had to serve like I think 60 days. It said I'll put the video below um, just for trying to learn the Bible. Can you believe this? But all day long, um, they can have whores on the corner, they can have um, girls gone wild filming everywhere, breasts. We can have people dang drunk all over the place, okay? And they still can somehow do this. What I don't get, okay? Now you tell me what is wrong here, okay? What's the problem? Nobody knows because they don't care. They just let it go on and on and on. And then no one says, well, you know, this is against freedom of speech. This is against um, a right to gather for religion and all that stuff and you're taking this away from us and nobody even is like not even a Christian attorney will stand up and like file a case or a lawsuit and so they're just like saying oh whatever just rest the Christians get them locked up because it's part of the, the culture what they're preparing people for is just, just, just acceptable to persecute Christians they're so wacko and dumb they believe in this Jesus and let's just get rid of them finally. Let's just, you know, cut them all off finally. It's just going to be what it says in the Bible, the mark of the beast. And um, they're going to, people can't buy and sell. And they're going to have to go into the stores and show some kind of chip or sign or whatever that get, lets them be able to prove that they, you know, worship this antichrist. And then I made this video one day when I was in Walmart and I was just sitting there and I was, you know, talking and it wasn't, you know, nothing. It was just about me looking at the checkout stands and I know they have them all over the place and it's nothing new, but I was saying, well, you know, this is kind of, um, with this setting up for, you know, the end times because it's just making it so easy for people to um, basically go buy and sell and get put their fingerprint or whatever their hand in their forehead and click it through there and get their food. And this person, I guess, who doesn't, of course, believe in the Bible, probably never read it, doesn't even know about these verses, um, said, well, why are you shopping there? And this has been around. They've had these checkouts or whatever. And it's like these people, they're like these disinformation people going around, leaving all these little smart-ass comments on everyone's pages trying to discourage and block people from Jesus and I was wondering like how much do they get paid you know they must get a lot of money because like who would even spend that much time you know trying to talk, counteract another person's opinion and view of something I mean I thought this was a free country and that if I want to say that I have a view um, my view of what I have what I believe from interpreting the Bible and for my study in seminary school three years with a master's degree in counseling I should be able to post a video without having everyone that's why I have to block my comments and it's a shame that just because of a few people that we can't even have like conversations about God and Christ because um, you have to like turn off your comments and you have to monitor them and then I don't get a chance to monitor them because of course there's too many of them and then I can't um, get to them all so they just sit there waiting to get approved and so it just actually that's what their whole purpose is is to block people's comments and the real ones that love Jesus and so it's so much of a systematic system that's going on that is such a headache that people don't even realize the behind the scenes of the elites all working together to support each other because remember when they first got here from England or wherever they came from Europe and they said you know they were going to come over here 
uh, as soon as they step their foot on the land, okay, and, and just put their foot down, I gotta make this another part, because oh, it's gonna be too long, and then they'll take like a hundred hours just to get downloaded. 